before I introduce the new chapter to you, let me ask you a few questions. Uh, what time do you get up from the bed? I think by 6 or 7 o'clock, isn't it? Then, when you used to go to school, what time you used to get ready for the school? Probably, if your house is close to the school, then you must be starting at uh, 7.45, isn't it? And what time your school starts? Do you know the time? Yes, your school starts at 8.15, isn't it? 8, you have to enter and by 8.15 your school starts. That is, you have, a, by uh, 8.15 you have to get ready for the prayer, assembly and then by 8.30 your school starts the classes starts isn't it then at what particular time do you have recess or break when you were in the school if you remember you used to get your break at 11 20 sorry uh, it's 10 50 okay 10 50 and by 11 10 your break used to get over in this way so why am I telling you about all these timings? Sometimes I'm asking you about your, like, no, the time when you wake up, then your school time. So, from this, I think you have understood that what chapter I am going to teach you, isn't it? Okay, can you see this in my hand? What is it? Yes, this is a clock. Okay, it's a table clock. And so, I am going to start with the time chapter, okay? And uh, here, this clock is used to, uh, what is it used for? It is used to read the timings. We should know what time, what we are doing. And we should maintain the timing also, isn't it? Now, in olden days, you will remember, in olden days, we used to, how do we use to see the time or how do we are used to understand the timings? It is by the position of the sun. Okay. If the sun is above our head, we used to say it is afternoon. Okay. It's going to be afternoon. And if the sun is uh, like, uh, is forming because of the sun, if we are forming a longer shadow, then we say either it is evening or it is morning. Like that we used to assume the timings. We didn't have any device to measure the time or to read the timings. Okay. Later as and when the time passed, people like they developed in their understanding and then they started uh, learning uh, more and more about uh, different subjects and all. So then later on the clock was discovered okay and with the help of clock then we started reading the time okay now this clock has uh, if you see there are different types of clock isn't it there are wall clocks then you have uh, this is called table clock and uh, the watch which we wear in our hand is called wrist watch but the function or the purpose of all these devices are same to read the time isn't it if you have noticed you see i'm showing you this clock this clock is having three needles three needles means it has got three hands okay the longer hand the longest hand is the minute hand okay uh, let me show you here if you can see it very closely you see the red uh, color needle which is moving very fast it is the longest hand okay so this hand is called the second hand which moves the fastest after that you can see there is one more hand which is little shorter this one you can see this little shorter than the second hand it's called the minute hand okay and after that there is one more hand which is smallest, the shortest hand is called the R hand. Okay, so what do we understand from here? The longest hand, there are three 
three needles or in time we get to see three hands that is one is first one is what what is the first one the first one is uh, the longest hand is called the second hand the short uh, like shorter hand is called the minute hand and the shortest hand is called the hour hand so how many uh, like in the clock how many hands are there or how many needles are there three needles okay the longest one shows the second time then the shorter one shows the minute and the shortest one shows the hour time okay so basically in a clock we have three hands minute hand second hand and hour hand but in your class you will be learning about minute hand and hour hand only okay so in this chapter chapter number 10 you will be learning about the clock and its different hands at the same time you will also learn about how to read the timings in the clock okay then you will also learn uh, in like no related to time uh, in a week how many days are there then how many uh, like in a month how many days are there in one year how many months are there in one month how many weeks are there okay all this information we are going to learn in this time chapter is that clear to all of you children so we are going to introduce a new chapter chapter number 10 time where we will be learning about how to read the time what are the different hands which represents the hour hands then minute hand second hand okay those things we will learn at the same time we will also learn some other information related to time chapter okay children so uh, let us start the class i will introduce you i can show you here from the i showed you the clock no from here i showed you which hand is called the second hand minute hand and then the hour hand in the similar way if you see in your book also you will find that it is given um, there is a uh, figure or there is a picture of a clock where it is shown that which one is minute hand and hour hand okay so what i mean to say is you will like uh, uh, this is just an introduction class to this topic so in the next class when i will meet you then i will explain you how to read the timings okay this was just an introduction what you are going to do you will draw a clock in your copy maths copy and you will show the minute hand and the hour hand that is going to be your homework for the day all right so that's all in this video i am not going to uh, like explain much about it in the next class we will be discussing in details about this time chapter all right and one more important information children about your uh, final syllabus you see from your uh, new maths explorer there will be four chapters and the name of the uh, like name of the chapter let me tell you the name of the chapter will be chapter number 5 first which is multiplication chapter number 5 multiplication after that you will get chapter number 7 uh, fractions okay then chapter number 9 metric measurements and the last one is chapter number 11 sorry 10 is also there 5 uh ha huh. 5 9 10 and 11 7 is not there chapter number 7 is not there i'm sorry chapter number 5 9 10 and 11 5 9 10 and 11 chapter number 5 is multiplication chapter number 9 is metric measure chapter number 10 is time chapter and chapter number 11 is geometrical shapes so these four uh chapters are going to come for your final exam about mental maths i will let you know what what will be the pages okay 
so that's all in this video children i hope uh, you have understood uh, something about the time chapter it was just an introduction class so you don't need to worry about okay in the next class we will be discussing more about it all right so thank you for watching this video and bye bye take care